everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we're making these adorable, oh my gosh, these are absolutely adorable, lion booties. These are one of my favorite projects. It was so much fun to make and I can't wait to show you how to. So I'll get it right into the supplies we need and then I'll ask, answer some uh, frequently asked questions and then we'll get into making these booties. So the supplies, thanks to Red Heart Super Saver Yarns for supplying this yarn today. This yarn is super fabulous. That's one of my absolute favorites, Super Saver. This is a scrap yarn project. I don't even have yardage on how much yarn you're going to need in this project um, because you can see here I just have these little tiny balls of yarn and I still have extra left over. These are such cute little booties for a three to six month old baby. Um, now if you want to obviously make them bigger, you can use a bigger hook. But the colors I'm using today are four different colors. This is Red Heart Super Saver yarn. This uh, color is called Carrot. This is the orange color for our fur, our mane, and our tail tuft here. And then our main color of the booty is this gold color. This is for the booty itself, the ears, and the tail. And then we're going to need just a tiny bit of white for the mouth and nose area and the eyes. And then even a smaller amount of black to embroider the nose, mouth, and pupils. And then for these little tiny whiskers as well, we'll need some black. So those are the colors you're going to need today. But you can use any worsted weight yarn, any double knitting yarn, or even an Aran yarn would totally work for this project. Uh, the hook size we're going to use today is a G hook. This one specifically is a G6 hook that's 4.25 millimeters. You can go down to a G hook which is 4 millimeters or use an H hook with it which is 5 millimeters. And this super fancy hook I am using, I've used a lot in a lot of my videos, uh, these fancy ergonomic hand carved handcrafted hooks. This is from the Etsy shop Would Be Fancy. I will put the link in the description of this video for you to get yours at the Etsy shop Would Be Fancy so make sure you check that out. These are super fabulous and I recommend them to anybody. Also, you're going to need a scissors, a yarn needle, and a stitch marker. And here I'm just using an extra piece of yarn for my stitch marker. But if you want a legit stitch marker, I will put a link to some in the description of this video as well. So those are all the supplies you're going to need. Now for frequently asked questions, I get this a lot. What size are these? Well, oops, I have a little piece I have to sew in there. But these are stretching up to about five, no, about four and a half inches, almost five inches, okay? So that is about 12, maybe 13 centimeters, okay? So that's how big of a foot that will fit in here. That is about a three to six month old baby size. So um, that is, these will be perfect for, you know, a baby shower and an expecting mom, or if you're expecting your own baby, these will be super cute to make for them. So that is perfect. That's the size. So, um, you know, like I said, though, if you want to make these bigger or smaller, use a bigger or smaller hook. So, also, before we get started, I do have to mention a big thank you to my dad, Fuad Asma, for taking the time to make this video with us. He's our videographer, editor, and photographer for all of the videos at yarnutopia.com. So, make sure you leave him a comment thanking him. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit like on this video. And if you have any questions about this, there's a free written pattern. You can get these lion booties at yarnutopia.com. Com. Link is in the description of this video. Also, all the supplies and where you can find everything. And you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. All of that info is in the description here and on my website, yarnutopia.com. So make sure you give me a visit and thank you for your views. Those are mean so much to us. So now let's get started and make these adorable lion booties. Let's start out by making a slip knot. We're going to make the booty first. So let's Put our short end over the long end, fold that down, and then pull that long end through and pull tight, and there's your slip knot. You can insert your hook, and we can start. So let's start out by chaining 10. So yarn over and pull through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9 and 10. And in the second chain from the hook, we are going to put two single crochet. So the loop on the hook does not count as a chain, so count 1 and 2. Right in this chain here, we're going to go in, and what I like to do is turn the chain toward me and work in the back ridge of the chain. So go into the second chain from the hook right here. We're going to put two single crochets in there. So go in, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, that's our first single crochet. So go back into that same chain and then yarn over again and pull through and yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, there is two single crochets in that second chain from the hook. Now we're just going to put one single crochet in the next five chains. So go into this next one, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops. So there's one, hop to the next chain here and make another single crochet. There's two, go into the next chain, this is three, next chain is four, and the next chain is five. Okay, then we're going to half double crochet into the next chain, so yarn over, go into this next chain here, yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. That's a half double crochet. And we're going to do the same thing in the next chain. So yarn over, go into the next chain there, then yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. Just like that. Now we have one chain left. We are going to put eight double crochets in there. So yarn over, go into this last chain here. We're going to put eight stitches in there. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two loops. And then yarn over and pull through those other two loops. Okay, that is a double crochet. So again, yarn over, go back into that same chain. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops and yarn over and pull through two more loops. There's two, here's three, here's four, and you can kind of see I'm turning my work like this because we are going to work along this foundation row as well. Coming back around. That's four, here's five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so we put eight double crochets in that last chain. You can see it kind of curved around here, and we are going to work along this foundation row now over here. And I'm going to work over the top of this straggler as well. In this next chain right here, we are going to put a half double crochet. So yarn over, go into that stitch right there, yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Okay, and do that in the next stitch as well. So yarn over, go into this next stitch right here, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Just like that. Awesome. Now we're going to single crochet into five stitches. So go right into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops. So there's one, next stitch is two. You can see I'm crocheting over the top of this straggler as well so I don't have to sew it in later. Here's three, four, and five. There should be one stitch left. We're going to put two single crochets in our last stitch, if I can get to it. Let me finish this real quick. There we go. One. There. All right, so there's that one stitch left. We're going to put two single crochets in that last stitch. So one and two. There we go. Awesome. Now don't join to this first single crochet here. We're going to actually put a stitch marker in there. So let me grab my stitch marker real quick. I'm just grabbing another piece of yarn here and sticking it in the place where it starts the round. 
okay so right in here if you have a legit stitch marker you can put it in this spot right here that just marks our round to where our beginning of our round is so that was round one let's go right into round number two we are going to put two single crochets in this first stitch right here so go right into the front and back loop just like that and put two single crochets in there so one and two there we go just like that now we're going to put two single crochets in the next stitch as well so hop to this next stitch here and put two single crochets in there too one and two okay now we're going to put one single crochet in each of the next seven stitches so one two three, four, five, six, and seven. All right, now we're going to half double crochet in the next stitch. So yarn over, go into this next stitch here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. That's our half double crochet. Now in the next six stitches, we are going to put two half double crochets in each one of those. Okay, so yarn over, go into this next stitch, make a half double crochet, and then go back into it for another half double crochet. Okay, so we're putting two half double crochets in the next six stitches. So that was one. So then hop to the next and put two half double crochets in there one and two okay so that's our second one hop to the next two half double crochets in there whoopsie there's our third one one and two here's our fourth one one and two here's our fifth one and this next one, one and two, is our sixth one. Awesome. Now we're going to just put one half double crochet in the next stitch. So just put one in there. Now we're going to put one single crochet in the next seven stitches. So go right into this next one here, and then yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. That's one. Next stitch is two. Next stitch is three. Here's four, five, six, and seven. Okay, you should have two stitches left. We're going to put two single crochets in each one of those. So one and two in that one. And then in our last stitch, put two single crochets in there too. One and two. And that was round two. So if you need to count, you should have 36 stitches on round two. So this is what it should look like so far. Okay, so now we're gonna go on to round three right away. Let's move our stitch marker up. Okay, for round three, we are going to single crochet into the first two stitches. So right in here, your stitch marker might be hiding it, so don't forget that one right behind the stitch marker is right there. Put a single crochet in there, and a single crochet in the next. Okay, so those first two stitches get one single crochet. Then the next stitch gets two single crochets. So go right into this next stitch and put two single crochets in there one and two awesome then we're gonna put one single crochet in the next ten stitches this round so one two three four five six seven 
eight, nine, and ten. All right. Then we're going to put two single crochets in the next stitch. So one and two. Oopsie. There we go. And the same thing in the next stitch. Put two single crochets in there as well. One and two. Awesome. Then in the next six stitches, we're just going to put one single crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we're going to put two single crochets in the next stitch right here. One and two. And in the next stitch as well. Put two single crochets in there. One and two. Alright, then we're going to put one single crochet in the next ten stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then in the next stitch, we're going to put two single crochets. There should be three stitches left here. We're going to put two single crochets in this next one here, one and two. And then in the last two stitches on this round, we're just going to put one single crochet in each one of those. One and one. And that was round three. So at the end of round three, you should have 42 stitches. And now what we're going to do is go into this next stitch. I'm not even going to move my stitch marker up. In fact, I'm going to take it out of there. And then we're going to go into this next stitch right here and slip stitch. So yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Okay, so now our sole of our booty is complete. Now what we're going to do for round four is we are going to work in the back loops only. So what we're going to start off by doing is chaining up one, so yarn over and pull through one. And now what we usually do, we're working through both loops. We were doing that for rounds one through three, working through both of the loops like this. But if you look at the loop that's furthest away from you right here, that is considered the back loop. Okay, so those are the loops we're going to be working in for round four only. So let's go into this very first stitch right here that we just slip stitched into. You can see the back loop right there. Okay, let's go into there. And then yarn over and pull through, okay? And then yarn over and pull through two loops, just like that. So we're just going to single crochet around, no increasing or anything on this round. We're just going to go into each of the back loops and make a single crochet on each stitch around, which should be 42 stitches. So we're just going to go in each back loop of each stitch. And as you can see, I'm single crocheting in the back loop here and you can see that it creates a little bit of a ridge here okay for the front loop to be exposed right around here okay that'll could that'll separate the sole from the side of the booty if um, you are wondering why we're doing that we're doing that to separate the bottom part of the sole of the shoe to the sides so I'm just going to single crochet now in the back loop of each stitch around and then I'll meet you up and we'll go on to round five together all right, I just single crocheted in the back loop there, and you can see that ridge is really, really pronounced. It looks really good all the way around. So now we're going to slip stitch to the first single crochet, okay? Not this chain up one right here, okay? There's our little slip stitch, and then we chained up one, and then our first single crochet is right here. We're going to go under the front and back loops of that stitch, right into, into it, and then yarn over, pull through, and pull through, just like that. There is our slip stitch, and now we can go on to round five. And round five, we're going to work in both loops, and we're going to chain up one, and we're going to go right back into the same stitch that we just slip stitched into, this first single crochet, and single crochet in there. Okay, and we're just going to single crochet into each stitch around. 
just like this in both loops this time so no working in the back loops anymore just work in both loops it should be a little faster and we're just single crocheting for round five and then once I do that we'll have again the same amount of stitches 42 stitches around and then I'll meet you up and we'll do half double crochets for round six all right, going on to round six, we're going to slip stitch to the first single crochet right in here. So again, not that chain up one there. Go into the single crochet and close round five here. Yarn over, pull through, and pull through. And for round six, we're going to use half double crochets. So let's chain up one, and we're going to half double crochet into each stitch. So yarn over, go back into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into yarn over and pull through and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook okay and then do that in each stitch so yarn over go into the next stitch yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through all three loops yarn over go into the next yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three loops so we're just half double crocheting all the way around and then again you'll have 42 stitches on this round and I'll meet you up for round seven alright finishing round six we are going to slip stitch into the first half double crochet stitch so not this chain of one here go into the first half double crochet right in here and slip stitch so yarn over pull through and pull through all right for round seven we are going to start shaping the toe so let's chain up one and then single crochet into the same stitch as the join. So right into the same stitch right here, go in, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, then we're going to single crochet into the next stitch. So go in here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And now we're going to single crochet two together. So go into this next stitch here, yarn over and pull that through, and then go directly into the very next stitch right here and then yarn over and pull that through so now we have three loops on the hook we're going to yarn over and pull through all three of those loops okay that's a single crochet two together stitch or a single crochet decrease now we're going to single crochet in the next seven stitches so one two three four, five, six, and seven. All right, now here comes the toe shaping. We are going to single crochet two together 10 times, I'm sorry, not single crochet. We're gonna half double crochet two together 10 times. So let's yarn over, okay? Go into this next stitch here, then yarn over and pull that through go directly into the next stitch and then yarn over and pull that through so now you'll have four loops on the hook one two three four yarn over and pull through all four of those loops that's a half double crochet two together or half double crochet decrease so you have to do that ten times so that was one so yarn over go into this next stitch yarn over pull through go into the next stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all four loops and that's two Oops. there we go that's two okay again yarn over go into the next stitch way over here yarn over pull through go into the next stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all four loops and that's our third one two three yarn over go into the next yarn over pull through go into the next yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all four loops okay and that's four here's five and six There we go. Oh my goodness. There we go. What was that? Six? Okay. Here's seven. Eight. 
and you'll see it's going to get really like curved and, and tighter up here. Okay, let me count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. Here's nine. And ten. Awesome. So you can see that that started shaping the toes. Looks really good so far. Okay, so now we have to single crochet in the next seven stitches. So no yarning over, just go into this next stitch here and then yarn over and pull through and yarn over and pull through two. So there's one, next stitch, two, here's three, four, five, six and seven and we are going to we have four stitches left we're going to single crochet two together so go into this one here yarn over pull through go into the next one yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three loops that's our single crochet decrease and then just put a regular single crochet in the last two stitches so one and one and then to close round seven, we're going to slip stitch to the first single crochet. So go right in there, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. And let's just go right on to round eight. Here's what our slipper looks like so far. Looks really cute. Okay, so for round eight, we are going to chain up one. So yarn over, pull through. And we're going to single crochet into this very first stitch, this one we just joined to, in the first nine stitches actually. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So there's one, next stitch is two, three, there's four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine okay and then we're going to half double crochet two together six times so yarn over go into this next stitch yarn over pull through go into the next yarn over whoops there we go yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through all four loops there's one okay here's two Here's three, here's four, five, one more. It's going to get really tight up at the toe part here. Here's six. There we go. Look at that. It's looking like a shoe. How exciting. Okay, so now we're going to single crochet into, let's see here, single crochet into the last nine stitches. So the rest of the stitches on this round. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. All right, so you should have 24 stitches on round eight. So let's slip stitch to the first single crochet right here. Okay, not this chain up one here. Go into the single crochet stitch, yarn over, pull through, and through. And going on to round nine, let's chain up one. Okay, let's single crochet into the first nine stitches, just, just like round eight was. So in this first stitch here, single crochet, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And now we're going to half double crochet two together four times. So yarn over, go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all four of the loops. There's one. Here's two. 
Here's three. It's getting real tight. There we go. Three and four. And then you should have seven stitches left on this round. Just single crochet in the rest of the stitches on this round here. So there's one, two, three, whoopsie, three. <laughs> Here's four, five, six, and seven. And then let's slip stitch to the first single crochet right in here. Go in, yarn over, pull through, and through. All right, so now the next three rounds you can see here, this is so far what it looks like. Okay, looking good. We just have to go up the ankle now just a few rounds and we're going to do rounds 10, 11, and 12. So three rounds, we're just going to chain one and single crochet now in each stitch. No decreasing or increasing or anything. Just putting one single crochet in each stitch around for the, what was it? I think it was like 20 stitches, yep. Yeah. There's 20 stitches around, so you should have for round 9, 10, 11, and 12, we're having 20 stitches around. And I'm doing round 10 right now, just putting one single crochet in each stitch, and then I'll slip stitch to the first single crochet and then chain up one and go on to the next round, and rounds 11 and 12 are also the same as round 10, just single crocheting around. So I'm going to do three rounds of this. If you want to, you can make your booty um, go like taller as well. You can make it as tall as you want, like a boot. Um, but I'm going to stop after round 12, and when we fasten off, then we can go on to the next step together. All right, just did rounds 10, 11, and 12 here, just single crocheted around. So now I'm going to slip stitch to the first single crochet here, finishing round 12. And we are going to slip stitch and then fasten off. So let's chain one, cut this yarn, pull that through, and pull it tight. And let's grab our yarn needle right away and just sew in this end right away. Okay, and then we'll be able to go on to the next step. So what I usually do is just go inside behind the stitches, underneath the stitches with my needle, okay, and then just pull, and then stretch it out, and then cut any extra, and there is your cute little booty. So if you want to make one just like this and have a pair of just plain booties, you can. But uh, if you want the lion design, just follow along next and we will make uh, the embellishments for the lion face. All right, so I grabbed some white yarn. I'm going to set this aside. Let's start out by making the eye. So you can uh, start off by chaining two, but what I'm going to do is something different. I normally chain two um, when I'm making circles, but I'm actually going to start off with my yarn like this, and I'm going to take these two fingers behind here, and I'm going to wrap this around my finger like this. Okay, so this end ends up back here, by my ring finger here okay just like that and then what I'm going to do is take my hook and go underneath both piece, both yarns on the top here just like that and then pull this one in the back on the left side through to the front okay and then I'm going to take this and hook on the long strand of yarn. This piece of yarn right here is attached to the ball of yarn. And we are going to yarn over with that and pull it through this loop on our hook. Just like that. Then what I'm going to do is kind of pinch this. Okay, and remove my fingers. And then this short strand here, I'm going to tighten. I'm going to pull it just a little bit okay not too much and there's a circle here we're going to work in okay so we're gonna pinch that and just kind of pull this strand and we're gonna work into this little ring now that's called the magic ring and we're gonna put six single crochets in there so go in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two okay so there's one go back in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two there's two here's three four, five, 
One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, just like that. Then what we're going to do, I'm going to hold these uh, stitches on this side, and I'm going to take that short strand and just pull tight. Okay, to close everything, just like that. Okay, so it closes it. And then we're going to come to the first single crochet stitch right here. Okay, if you need to, you can count back. One, two, three, four, five, six. It should end up on that stitch. We're going to go into that stitch and slip stitch. So yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Okay, and then to fasten off the eye, we're just going to chain one and cut our yarn long for sewing, and then pull it all the way through that chain one there and pull tight. And then pull both of those strands tight. And there we have a cute little circle. Okay. Then we're going to take the black yarn and our yarn needle and we are going to yarn our needle with the black yarn. Okay, we're going to embroider a little pupil. So we're going to go into the back side of this eye, right in the center there. Okay, go in and then come out one of the stitches right here. Okay, and I'm going to do that three times. So go back into the center right here and then back out that same stitch. And one more time. And you can do this as many times as you need to to make your pupil as big as you want it to be. Okay. So that's as big as I want mine to be. Then we're going to flip this over and cut the black yarn. And then we're going to tie these two strands in a knot. So I'm just going to flip it around. Just like that. Okay, and again. Crisscross and underneath and pull tight. Then you can cut these strands a little shorter if you need to. And there is an eye. Now this, let's see here, let's cut that, there we go. So now this is, the long strand here is what we're going to use for sewing. And this is our eye, so let me grab my other one. What I need you to do is make two of these in total. So we have two eyes here, they look exactly the same. And then we have our booty. Now we're going to kind of position these right now. We're not going to sew these on right away. I'm going to position them kind of like right here. And that's kind of where they will be. But right now I'm going to set these aside and we're going to make the oval for our mouth and nose. All right, for the oval part, we're here, we're going to use white, and I am going to, you can start off with that magic ring like I showed you earlier like this, or you can start off with a chain two. So we're going to make a slip knot, so put your short end over your long end, fold this down, and then pull that through and pull tight, okay? And then insert the hook and chain. I'm going to do the chain two method this time, so chain two. And in the second chain from the hook, we're going to put six single crochets. So go into that second chain right there, then yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. So there's one, go back in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. There's two, here's three, four, five and six okay then we're going to slip stitch to the first single crochet so go into this first stitch right here then yarn over and pull through and pull through the loop on your hook and that's round one <laughs> going on to round two right away we're going to chain up three one two and three and that's going to count as our first double crochet of this round and in that same stitch that we just slip stitched into we're going to double crochet so yarn over go into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into and chained up three in yarn over and pull through 
yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. In the next stitch right here, we're going to put a half double crochet, so yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. And we're also going to single crochet in that same stitch, so just go back into that stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. In the next stitch, we're going to single crochet, so go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and we're going to half double crochet. So yarn over, go back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. Now in the next stitch, we're going to put two double crochets. So yarn over, go into this stitch here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. And again, another double crochet into that same stitch. Now we're going to kind of repeat what we did on this opposite side. So we're going to half double crochet and single crochet in this next stitch. So two stitches in there. Half double crochet there. And then single crochet, just go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And this last stitch right here, we're going to single crochet and half double crochet. Awesome. Then what we're going to do, see, we're going to slip stitch to the chain up three here. One, two, three, right at the top, that top third chain, go into the front loop and into the back loop, yarn over, pull through, and pull through that loop on your hook just like that. So we have a small oval here. Let's do one more round for this oval. We'll chain up one and in this first stitch, this chain of three that we just slip stitched into, we're gonna put two single crochets into that chain. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, go back into that same stitch and put another single crochet in there. It's a little tight on that chain. There we go. Now on the next stitch, this double crochet stitch, we're gonna put two single crochets in there. So one and two. Now on the next four stitches, we're just gonna put one single crochet in each one of those. So one, next stitch is two, next stitch is three, and the next stitch is four. And that leads us to the next double crochet stitch right here. We are going to put two single crochets in there, one and two, and on the next stitch as well, this double crochet stitch right here, we're going to put two single crochets in there, one and two. And then on the last four stitches of this round, we are going to put one single crochet. So one, next stitch, two, here's three, and the last stitch is four. So you should have 16 single crochets on round three there. So let's slip stitch to the first single crochet, go in, yarn over, pull through and through, and then chain one, and we're gonna fasten off with a long tail, so let's cut our yarn long for sewing, and then pull that all the way through, and then pull that tight, okay? And kind of stretch this out, make it look like an oval, okay, sort of like that, awesome. And if you want to, you can grab the shoe here and kind of position it sideways on the booty, just like that. Okay, so that's kind of where it's going to lie on our shoe. But before we put it down, we are going to embroider the nose and the mouth and the whisker dots. So grab some black yarn, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. Let's grab our yarn needle. Okay, yarn your needle with that black yarn there. Okay, we're going to start with the nose. So I want my nose to be right at the top here, okay? So I'm going to start from the back, go into the center of this oval here. 
Okay, and we're gonna kind of make a tri an upside down triangle. So I'm gonna kind of position it right here. And this is kind of just eyeballing where you want it to go. Then go back in the center here. Okay, and about right here. And then we're just going to go around and around, going into the center and then kind of up to the top here. Then into the center and then up to the top on this side. And we're going to just kind of meet them then in the middle. And then wherever you need to touch it up, we can go back to that spot. right there. Fabulous! That looks really good. Now we are going to go into the center and we're going to come down right here and then we're going to make the little mouth so we're going to come down even more right about here and then back to this spot right here. Go into the black yarn to the back Okay, and we're going to come about right here and back to that center. So that looks like our mouth. Awesome. Then I'm going to make little dots, little whisker dots. So you can do yours wherever you want, but I'm just going to come through the side cheek here and just make a little tiny dot just like that little line okay and when I pull it tight you won't even notice much of it will be so small okay and I'm gonna put one up here okay and one down here perfect then we're gonna hop over to the other side and make them on that side. So one kind of kind of opposite to what we just did. It doesn't have to be perfect though. There we go. There's one. There's two. And one more up here. There's three. Okay, so they're little tiny freckle dots. And our whiskers are going to come out of those anyway, so it's really all right if you, you know, don't have it to be have it perfectly. And then what we're going to do is flip this over. I'm going to cut the yarn from the ball of yarn. And then we're going to tie these two strands in a knot behind this little oval. And nobody will ever see this. Okay, and again, you can even cut it shorter than that. And also this strand too. There we go. There it is. Awesome. Now let's grab our shoe and put this on. So I'm going to sew this to the shoe just like this. So we're going to take that long strand, okay, position this at the front here, just like that, and just go in and out and into this layer. and then out in and out just like this and obviously I'm doing it a little faster for the camera but you can do you know take your time and make sure that it is positioned in the right spot to make sure it looks really good there we go alright and then when you come back around 
we are going to fasten this off. Okay. So to do that, kind of stretch it out. Good deal. Okay, then go underneath a few of the stitches like that. Keep your finger in that loop, then come back through that loop, and then take your finger out and pull that tight. And then you can go underneath between the layers, between the white oval part and the shoe itself. and then cut the extra okay and then stretch it out and make sure all the pieces are all hidden all the strands are hidden inside okay and then you can turn it inside out you can see that there's nothing in there I have this one strand in here that I forgot to cut earlier so I'm gonna actually trim that right now there we go and there's our cute little nose. Now, like I showed you earlier, I have those two eyes. So we're going to sew these on next. So right above the um, nose part here, we're going to put these eyes right about here. Okay, quite close to this oval here, but not touching it like this. We're going to just go up a little bit from there. And I'm going to sew it on exactly how I sewed on that oval nose. We're just going to take that long strand, okay, and these stragglers in the back here you can actually grab onto the inside of your shoe and then sew those in later if you want to. Okay, so position this where you want it, right about here, and then just go into the shoe and out the two layers, just like that. So I went through the shoe and the eye, okay, going back into the eye and the boot, and then across to the next stitch. And again, make sure your eyes look good so they're not crooked or anything. There we go. Oh, it's starting to look really cute. Okay, and then one more time here. And then this one, I'm actually going to fasten off inside of the shoe. So I'm going to go into it. Okay. Pull that all the way through, just like that, and then I'll turn this kind of inside out a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to take the other white strand of yarn here, okay, and we're going to tie those two pieces into a knot. And then we can just cut those shorter. And then we're going to sew in these ends here. Okay, I can only do two at a time because my yarn needle is quite small. So what I'm going to do is just go underneath the, uh, the shoe layer. So b between the shoe layer and the eye. Okay, I'm just going through that much there. And then I'm going to take a strand of yarn and yarn my needle with that straggler that needs to be sewn in okay and then we're just gonna pull and then we can cut that short just like that okay so I have to do those three strands and then I'm gonna sew on my other eye on the opposite side obviously and then once I have both eyes on and all the ends sewn in we can go on to making the next piece Alright, I just sewed on both of the eyes and sewed in the ends inside there, so you can see that. 
So now, uh, just a little detail, I have two small strands of black yarn here and I'm going to um, sew in these to make little whiskers. Um, this is optional. The little dots kind of give the fact that there are whiskers there, but I'm just going to take these two strands on my yarn needle. Okay, and then I'm going to go into one of these sides, okay, between the two layers. So between the white oval and the shoe itself, we're going to go through the two layers just like that, straight across. Don't pull all the way, but just pull halfway, leaving some on each side. Okay, and we're going to trim these down, but I wanted to show you, you can split them like this by just taking your yarn needle and going in between two of the strands and splitting them. Okay, and this one seems to be already split, so there's the whiskers for that side. You can kind of shape them how you need to and trim them if you need to as well. Okay, and then at this side as well, I'm going to cut this down and then take my needle in between some of the strands of yarn, the ply, and just kind of separate them and unwind. Okay, and then this one. They're like scrappy. There we go. And then I just need to cut them to be the same size as the other side. There. So there we got some whiskers. So now uh, I'm going to grab some orange yarn here. I'm using carrot. And we're going to make the mane before we make the ears because the ears are behind the mane. So what we're going to do is grab our hook. Okay, we're going to start on this side of the booty and we're going to kind of just eyeball it right down about here. Okay, and we're going to insert our hook. I guess you can start in one of the front loops of this round from round three here. Round three and four. There's that free front loop. I'm going to hook on this new color. Just kind of wrap it around the hook and pull it through. Okay, and then we're going to chain eight, so yarn over, pull through, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and we're going to go back down into that same stitch, okay, go back in there and slip stitch, so yarn over, and pull through, and pull through, and that makes a loop, okay, so we're going to make a bunch of these loops across to make a mane. So this part now is where you're kind of just going to have to eyeball it wherever your hook fits. Just kind of go with it. So go underneath here and then yarn over, pull through and through to slip stitch into your spot. Okay, I'm going to pull tight. And then we're going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, and then go back into that same spot and slip stitch. So yarn over, pull through and through. And then just move up the side. So right about here, go in, yarn over, pull through and through, chain eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Go back into that same spot and slip stitch. Then go to the next spot up. Okay, so right about here. Yarn over, pull through and through. Chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Go back into that same spot and slip stitch. Okay. And then you can see that it is making these loops like this. 
page for the main and we're gonna do that all the way around here so I'm gonna come up around the eye up over this section here and then down this side all right so just continue doing that you can kind of just fold your piece where you need it to go and just kind of where your hook fits try to get under like two or three um, stitches or two or three like yarn pieces okay before you slip stitch and then chain eight three four five six seven eight and then make sure to slip stitch back into that same spot before you slip stip Ugh, slip stitch into the next spot okay and right about here and continue okay so I'm gonna do that all the way around and then you can also look at the photos and see exactly where I did um, do the main uh, kind of just use that as a guide but I'm just gonna do this all the way around until the other side and then I will meet you up and we'll go on to the next step together all right, just finishing up here, we're going to slip stitch into the side here, and then we're going to chain one and cut the yarn and pull that through and pull tight. So you can see here I did the whole outline of the face with these loops. Okay, so I just have those two strands. I just got to sew those in. We're just going to, I'll just show you one and I'll do the other one later. We're just going to yarn our needle. Okay, go underneath in the back of these loops just go underneath those loops okay just like that and then just pull and cut and there it is okay so you can kind of position these loops how you want them kind of frill them out make them look like a nice mane looks really good so far so now let's make the ears let's set this aside grab some gold yarn and the ears are quite easy we're gonna start off with a slip knot okay short end over the long end fold that down pull the long end through and pull tight insert your hook and then chain two one and two and put six single crochets in the second chain from the hook so right in here go in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two so there's one here's two three four five and six all right I'm gonna stick my um, stitch marker right in here to mark my rounds and for round two we're going to, what I'm going to do is work in the back loops only, um, just like how we did that one round on the booties here. This back loop right here, this is the back loop that's furthest away from you, okay? So I'm going to work in those back loops for the ears, okay? And in the first stitch, we are going to work two single crochets. So one and two. And then in the next two stitches, we're just going to put one single crochet. So one and one. And then in the next stitch, we're going to put two single crochets. One and two. And then in the last two stitches, we're going to put one single crochet. One and one. So now you should have eight stitches all the way around. I'm going to move my stitch marker up and for rounds three and four we're just going to put one single crochet in each stitch around so no increasing anymore we're just putting one single crochet in each stitch around for the next two rounds and then once I finish round four I'll meet you up and we'll fasten this off. Alright I did rounds three and four just putting one single crochet in each stitch around. I'm going to remove my stitch marker and we're going to slip stitch into this next stitch here. Go in, yarn over, pull through and through. You can see I went under both front and back loop there. And then I'm going to chain one and we're going to cut the yarn kind of long for sewing and then pull it through that and pull tight. 
Okay, so now I just need you to make one more of these. So you have two ears in total, just like that. So once you have these two ears done, we can sew them to our lion here. And I'll show you exactly which position to sew them in. You can always use the photos as a guide and just sew them on with your yarn needle. Okay, behind the mane, right next to the ear. Okay, right there. And we're going to just behind the mane here. There we go. Or, I'm sorry, right next to the eye. Did I say ear? Sorry. <laughs> My dad's back there laughing at me because I can't even talk. Okay, so we're going to go underneath these stitches here. There we go. And I'm kind of just going to whip stitch it. So we're going to go through, just kind of going around and around. So going into the booty right behind the mane there we go then into this side of the ear and the other side of the ear okay you kinda have some coordination there we go and then again around and one more and then to fasten this off we're going to go into the booty and through the ear then keep your finger in that loop then come back through that loop remove your finger and pull that tight okay then you can just you can do that once or twice and then once you're done you can just insert this into the ear in between the layers and then cut any extra careful with your scissor and then stretch it out and make it look nice and then put your mane back up and there's your ear awesome so now I'm just gonna sew on the other ear right on this side opposite just like that okay so I'm gonna sew that on and then we'll go on to making the tail all right, so I just sewed on the other ear here, so now I'm gonna set this aside and we are going to make the tail. That's the last thing. So let's make a slip knot. I'm using the same gold yarn as my main color. And we are going to insert our hook. Let's chain two, one and two. And in the second chain there, put six single crochets. One, two, Th oopsie, three, four, five, and six. And I'm going to insert my stitch marker. I'm going to work in those back loops just like I showed you for the ear. Okay, and for rounds two through nine, we're just putting one single crochet in each stitch around. So no increasing on this tail. We just want it to be a thin. Um, tail and I'm just gonna do nine rounds total so rounds two through nine I'm just going to single crochet in each stitch now if you want to make your tail shorter or longer obviously stop sooner or continue going but I'm going to end on round nine and then I'll show you how to fasten off and we'll make some um, little a little tuft of loop hair <laughs> for the tuft of the tail and then we'll attach this to the shoe Alright, just finished round 9. We're going to slip stitch into the next stitch here to fasten off. So yarn over, pull through and through. And then chain 1, cut your yarn long for sewing. And then continue to pull it through that chain. Pull tight, you can remove your stitch marker. So this is what we have so far. I'm going to grab a little tiny itty bitty bit of stuffing and stuff this tail. You might have to use like a another crochet hook or something <laughs> to get it in there. Maybe stuffing as you go would probably be a better suggestion. There we go. Okay, so get it in there. Awesome. Okay, so now I just want to make a little tuft of um, that orange hair here. So let me grab 
the orange yarn and my crochet hook and we're gonna start in a stitch on round one here okay so one of these stitches here I'm gonna start right here and slip on that new color like that and now we're just gonna chain six so yarn over pull through one two three four five and six and then slip stitch back into that same stitch okay those front loops are free for that reason then hop to the next stitch right here in that front loop and slip stitch in there and then chain six one two three four five six slip stitch back into that same stitch just like that and then slip stitch into the next stitch okay and do this all the way around for um, this round we're just doing it at the bottom here and then when, when we're done we're gonna take this and sew this to our booty but just um, do these loops real quick just chain six though not eight okay because with the main when we were making the main we chained eight but for this tail tuft of hair we're just going to chain six and then make the rest of this tuft of hair and I might even go into the middle center here and do one as well so we'll see how I feel when I get there but once I'm finished making these loops then I'll meet you up and we'll fasten this part off alright I'm just slip stitching this closed like I said I wanted to do a few in the center as well so I kinda just found a spot and did two of them this front loop and this back loop here so it looks really good so now we're gonna fasten this off by chaining one and cutting this short and then pulling that through and pulling tight and what we can do now is take those two loose strands and just sew them into the tail Okay, so I'm just going to go right into the tail, all the way through, because nobody's going to see what's inside there, and there's stuffing in there anyway. And this one as well, goes all the way in, oops, there we go, okay. And then you can kind of pull at it and make it look good. Aww, awesome! And then I'm going to shove the rest of this back in here. There we go. Okay, so now we have to sew this to our lion right here in the back. Okay, so we're going to grab our yarn needle. Yarn our needle with that strand. We're so close to being done. Okay, so make sure you position it where you want it, about halfway down, about here. And we're just going to go into the shoe. And then back out the booty. And just go back and forth. Okay, then you can go up and into the booty just like this and then just wrap it around a few stitches come back through that loop and pull tight and then you can just sew in this end into the tail and then cut any extra you may have and you can sew in any ends and the rest of the ends that you may have if you have any more loose ends stretch it out make it look nice and there it is so now you just need to rewind this whole video and make one more exactly like it so you have a cute little pair and I have this cute little pair I'll sew that in later I'll just hide it underneath for now <laughs> and look at how cute they look little safari lions how adorable 
Thank you so much for watching and learning how to make these adorable lion booties. If you have any questions or need anything, uh, just check out the blog, yarnutopia.com, for all the supplies and information. And while you're at Yarnutopia, please consider donating and supporting Yarnutopia so we can continue making these because I am moving soon and we have to continue making these videos for you guys and I won't be living near my dad so there's one thing to consider <laughs> so thanks for everybody who has supported yarnutopia already i will talk to you next time happy hooking